Fortnite Legends, just down here at uh, Rome Gear. We've got Jared here, the owner. Mate, what's Rome Gear about? So yeah, Rome, Rome Gear is basically sort of new to the surface. Realistically, uh, we used to be called 12 Volt Solar Solutions. Um, we just found that, you know, we didn't want to just sort of stick in that lane. We wanted to sort of be diverse, sort of be that one-stop shop. Yep. Um, we focused a lot on camper vans sort of and caravans. And now we're finding that we're sort of just doing a lot of four-wheel drive stuff as well. The market's so, huge. And the, and the market's huge, exactly. Yep. Um, so we basically, I guess we are a one-stop shop. We've got, you know, lithium batteries. We've got solar. We've got DC to DCs. Yep. Um, and, you know, we're a reputable supplier and stockers, I guess, for... Um, Hardcore, and a drive projector, Nava, Bushman fridges, yep. um, all you know, the good stuff. All the good stuff, yeah, yep. and it keeps going. Um, so basically, and I guess the biggest thing is honest and transparent information. That's what customers want, and that's yep. what I found that there's such a gap in the market where yeah, you can go buy a product here or a product there, but just finding that honest, trustworthy information. Yep. Hopefully, you felt the same when you come and met, you know come oh, and met me. And, look, and 100 percent. Yeah. Um, so I actually found Jared. Uh, I was given his details and location through through a, a big company. Yeah. Um, you know, you came pretty highly recommended, mm -hmm. and and you'll see shortly. We'll do the full rundown of our new setup. But um, I came down to see Jared here, and, and I did. I purchased a bloody big setup, <laughs> very big system. Um, yeah, and we scaled it pretty pretty yeah, good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I guess we've just ta we've tailored ours for full off grid in the caravan. Yeah, hundred um, percent. And look, I couldn't be happier with the service I've got here at Rome Gear, yeah, mate. Oh, so, thank you. Appreciate it, um, Yeah, really appreciate not it. Not only top brands, you yeah. know, but the service was second to none. Oh, and awesome. that's not thank just you. saying it because the camera's on. Yeah. It's, um, no, I appreciate it's a genuine it. And, experience, that, so. and that's what we try. And that's what we strive for. And I think that's why we've done so well over the years. You know, we've been trading for nearly five years down on the Gold Coast. Yeah. And I think that's one thing we really push for, was trying to yeah. have that... You know, just to be different than, than a lot of the companies out there. Yeah, it spoke volumes to me straight away. And yeah. I went to a supplier direct. Yes. And they sent me to you. So yeah, exactly. Right. Um, yeah. So yeah, I mean, guys, we've gone our setup um, with with a bloody big hardcore battery setup. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. The rest of it's in a drive, yeah. all the charge setup, and oh, I had a few ideas, but Jared here. He's the brains draw, so yeah, we definitely um we tailored a little bit. Yeah, we brought it to, and to where it needed to be. So I guess what we did: seven hundred twenty amps of uh, lithium. Yeah. All in all, yeah, yeah. and then we did uh, two forty amp MPPT solar regulators and a drive ones. Yeah. Um, and then what an a drive forty amp DC to DC as well, as yeah. well as an AC to DC. So yeah. I guess um, it's a bit different to what most people do. A lot of people just punch all their solar into the DC to DC charger, as we know. Yeah. Um, but we've actually catered and run it through a separate solar regulator so that you're really harvesting as much power as you can when you're driving. Yeah, um, so can yeah. you can you break that down a little bit for the viewers? Yeah, yeah, like, so I what, guess... What does that so essentially you, give you more than... So I guess the, yeah, so <coughs> it's, that's a good, yeah, good, good thing to say. Realistically, I guess um, you can, you're able to, when you're driving, because we put a 40 amp DC to DC in and a separate solar regulator as such, um, the DC to DC charger will actually charge up to 50 amps whilst driving, but having the solar running through the separate solar regulator, say we put six uh, 170 watt solar panels on, which will harvest around about 50 to 60 amps an hour on a good day, um, will pretty much be generating nearly upwards of about 100 amps whilst driving. So. Um, as most people, you know, some people might not know, but when you have a DC to DC charger, um, you're only governing what that DC to DC charger can do, and that's either via alternator and solar. So yeah. realistically, we've um, we've harvest, you know, we can harvest double. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. I guess you want to run air cons, you want the creature comforts, which is what most people are doing now. And that's why we've done it. That's why we, that's yeah. why we built it. That's it, exactly um, right. So it's, um, it's definitely uh, one of those systems which is where the most of the market is going now. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, it's, you know, it's home away from home, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. so guys, I purchased the setup from Jared. Um, from Jared came highly recommended and auto sparky. Um, Sparky installer fit out, um, mm. one stop shop for all that, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. Um, so he sent me down to Josh at All Star Auto Accessories. Um, we'll touch base on that a little bit later through the install video, but again, another good recommendation, mate. Yes, yeah. second and none. So. Yeah, no, I'm glad to hear he's, he's definitely done well. Over yeah, the, yeah. You know, so I mean, ev everything in this install has come from recommendation, and I couldn't be happier. Yeah, no, thank you. Yeah, so. That's oh, awesome. Yeah. That's great. So pleasure yeah. to thanks, pleasure mate. to sort you guys out. Yeah, no, so. it's, it's been good, and um, yeah. hopefully we can you know long term 
relationship. Yeah, by all means. Yeah. yeah. There'll be more to come for us. Yeah. Canopy installs and stuff like that. So. Yeah, and we're looking forward to sort of seeing you know seeing yeah. out on the road and um, yeah. enjoying it and lapping it up. So. Yeah. yeah. And we all know that you need those you know need that aircon <laughs> running up when you get up north and nice and hot. Yeah, and, yeah. and I guess um, seven hundred and twenty amps. We should be. Uh, we should be right. Yeah, it should be pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah. Guys, if you need any 12 volt, uh, whether it be accessories, fridges, uh, you know, all that sort of fun stuff, get on down to Rome Gear and see Jared himself. And uh, this man will hook you up. Yeah, we'll happily sort you out, guys. Happily do it. So, yeah. Really? Awesome. Thanks, mate. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, see guys. you, guys. Bye. Yeah. Thanks, man. All right, guys. This one's been long overdue. Uh, work with a couple of, couple of really cool companies on this one. Um, as you all know, we've got a trail 21 foot 6 full off-road family explorer. It's a fiberglass composite um, aluminium frame caravan. Now, I went to hardcore to do a big bloody battery upgrade. Um, I was then sent down to a place by the name of Rome Gear. Um, went down the road to Rome Gear and was blown away by the service that I received. Um, look, I purchased everything for a bloody big lithium off-grid power system upgrade from him except the inverter because we already had the inverter. Um, he then sent me to a company by the name of All Star Auto Electronics or Electrics and they did the install. Um, we towed the van to them, they had it for a few days. But get a load of this guys, we've got over a kilowatt of solar on the roof of this thing. Um, so absolutely no shortage. I've got 720 amps of lithium now. I've got a three kilowatt um, Renergy inverter. And we've done something a little bit different with the charge system. So we've actually split it into three components. We've got the AC um, 60 amp uh, Enerdrive charger. I've split the solar system into two. So I've actually got two 40 amp Enerdrive solar regs. And then I've got the 60 amp sorry, 40 amp and a drive DC DC. So by doing that, I've doubled my solar input is in maximum capacity charge 80 amps. While driving, we then put another 40 on top of that. So um, the charge capacity in hindsight is about 120 amps an hour. If you were in 100% perfect conditions uh, for charging. So. In saying, like I said, 120 amps maximum capacity in full sun while driving. Um, while not driving, sitting in full sun, we're looking around the 80 amps maximum capacity, uh, perfect conditions again, pumping into the solar system. And then one end mains, we've got the, um, the 60 amp AC charger. Now we've taken up all our storage under the bed to do this. So we sacrificed under bed storage, but we gained under couch storage. So it's catch 22 guys, depends where you want to put it, but we've saved mass amounts of weight by going lithium NOA. Um, so under the bed, we've got the five kilowatt diesel heater as well. And then we've got the hardcore shunt, which has the display monitor at the door. So jump in here guys, have a look. These are my three hardcore 240 amp lithium batteries. There is no shortage of power there. This is our three kilowatt Renergy inverter. Um, now Renergy being a bit of a cheaper scale of that, that thing hasn't failed yet. So until it does, we're not gonna worry about replacing it because we already had it. It's doing what it needs to do at the moment. So here's our line of charging system, AC charger, dual solar inputs and DC DC. Over here to the shunt and the five kilowatt diesel heater. So, pretty body impressive, no shortage of power there. This is full off grid setup, so turn that inverter on. AC runs, fridge runs on 240 if you want, microwave <coughs> runs, the coffee machine runs, anything we want to charge on 240. We can do so now. That aircon being a Dometic Ibis 4, it's got a soft start clutch in it. There is no drama 
with that system and that Renner G3 kilowatt inverter running that thing off grid. Need anything like that, send us a, a message, whether it be via the website, um, the socials, or the YouTube channel. I'll get you in touch with these guys. That's where you want to be for buying your gear. Jump on board, guys. This is insane off-grid living. Come with us. Let's go adventure.